Good morning, folks. I hope you enjoyed the relatively calm couple of weeks we just had because things are changing fast. While you're watching 24 hours without significant solar eruptions, we're coming off significant geomagnetic storms and beginning an earthquake watch. Turns out, things are a bit more intense than expected. We'll begin with the solar storms that just ended. After four days of level 2 storm events, a coronal hole stream impacted Earth and set off a level 3 storm. The last two times we have seen a level 3 or higher storm, there were problems with airline radar and more. So in the wake of this event, there is but one question. Were there any effects from the recent strong solar storm? Well, the primary event coming to mind is the Ireland blackout. With magnetic storms, you always worry about transformers and airlines. Geographically, Europe is around the zero longitude mark, and that hazard chart is showing peak surface charging at that time, which can induce or be indicative of possible effects in the crust below. The peaking charges from the previous day may have also contributed to the Heathrow emergency where a technical glitch grounded a plane during the rise up to the peak of the geomagnetic storm, and also around that same time, another technical glitch forced a Philippine plane down as well. This is why we watch. Coming to spaceweathernews.com to find solar flaring still hasn't returned, but there is still reason to watch this as well. Is it the large departing sunspot group? No, it doesn't have that much complexity and is leaving the Earth-facing disk. What about the incoming sunspots? Well, those really aren't as magnetically complex as they appeared to be yesterday. And the reason to watch is actually just behind that grouping at the limb the largest sunspot in weeks and weeks, heading in now. Perhaps the biggest story starts with the solar wind speed dropping off in yellow, and with it, the geomagnetic storms. We have a planetary geometry today with the new moon. Been seeing Earth eclipse the SDO, but in the alignment, the moon is there too. Earth is fuzzy because of the atmosphere, but the moon is a sharp line. Remember that the geomagnetic storms lessen seismicity. So do tropical storms, which are now completely absent from the scope as well. The Earth factors are high. We have the new moon and this coronal hole, which is massive. As promised, last night I bumped up the Earthquake Watch Index to the second highest level we have over at QuakeWatch.net. And the Earth wasted no time. Just a couple hours later, a large earthquake struck the Gulf of California. Initial magnitudes were as high as 6.9, but the majority of reliable readings were at 6.8. Let's hope that was all the pressure to be released, but the watch will remain up for at least another day or two. Top link today is to the ESA's video of the latest Soyuz landing. What appears to be a catastrophic touchdown was actually a textbook landing. The craft uses the force of those blowouts against its plunge. Coming to the weather, a powerful low in the South Atlantic is drawing a convergence line back to South America and making flood threats at the coastline there. The temperature shift in the U.S. is unreal. It is quite cold in the east, and a low in New England could bring some minor hail threats this evening. Got a couple lows churning away up north in Europe, Convergences abound, but also don't sleep on the flow off the Mediterranean. That could bring severe storms too. A low pressure cell south of Australia makes the top alerts down under. Weather shares there in the comments section, please. Yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall over at SuspiciousObservers.org hit on some highly suspicious aspects of the crane disaster in Mecca, discussion about the quake watch starting now, and brewing crises domestically and abroad. Less than five weeks till observing the frontier, the observers and some distinguished guests are going to continue the trend of making science interesting. Handshakes among observers are an energetic thing. Come out and see us. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.